Negril, Jamaica, one of the most beautiful spectacles in the world, off the coast of the Caribbean. The Reggae Marathon, a prestigious race with world-class competition. The Reggae Marathon starts now. A beautiful night here in the grill, the Jamaica Reggae Marathon alive and well, and it's the eve of the big race. I'm Harry Chickmo alongside Jason Hall from the Jamaica Tourist Board, and we have the pasta party tonight. What an event, Jason. I mean, let's talk about what makes the Jamaica Marathon so special. Well, you know, first of all, as you've heard, this is the world's best pasta party. And that's not just frivolously, frivolously thrown out there. This is so because the entertainment quotient is very high, the food is unique. And of course, you know, Jamaica is where we have that low glycemic, high value yam, which, you know, Usain Bolt and so forth pride themselves on giving them sustenance. So, you know, it's a unique pasta party in that regard, you know. We're better to taste the original Rasta pasta than at Reggae Marathon. In terms of the marathon, it really is a phenomenal event. It's a model sport tourism event for, for us here in Jamaica, having sustained 15 years. Most marathons, they say, last five years. They die after five years. And as you've heard, this event has grown from strength to strength. I've been to quite a few marathons around the world, and I can't, I can't tell you that there's any quite like this. I mean, first of all, you start at 5.15. They've started on time every year for the past 15 years. And you start with drumming. And there are torches lighting your way as you run down. And, you know, I, I've seen it at least five times. And I still get goosebumps to this day. And you'll see it tomorrow. It's a tremendous start. And because the, the 10K, the half marathon, and the marathon all start, start together, it's a tremendous vibe and cluster of people. As you go along the course, there's reggae music at every mile stop. So, you know, you're being... Most, most marathons, you know, you, you run with your headphones and you're in your own little world. But here, you're in this community of reggae music, you know, the syncopating rhythms of Bob to every reggae, iconic reggae act that we have. And of course, you know, Jamaica, this is one of our greatest gifts to the world, reggae music. And, and it's just so uplifting to be pulled along by this music. Come to the finish. There's no marathon where you finish in the beach. Um, you know, the iconic shot for me that I've seen over the years is where the runners come through, the music propels them right through, there's live music taking place in the grounds and boom, there's a beach right there. There's a cold red stripe waiting for them or a, or a cold coconut, you know, fresh water coconut cut. And it's just amazing. Last year there was a full moon and people rave about the sunset in the grill and it truly is a spectacular thing, you know. This is a, a unique part of Jamaica where every evening is magic with the sunset. But last year, you had a moon set, and this entailed, you know, just where the sun goes down, the moon also goes down, and this full moon was setting at six o'clock in the morning. Beautiful morning, it was truly, as Diane said, mystical. Unbelievable, nearly 3,000 people competing, over 30 countries represented. Talk about the demographic of this race, and really how special it is to see the world joining together here in beautiful Negril. Absolutely. They have a lot of runners out of North America simply because it's the easiest to get here. But people come from far and wide. Over the years, we've seen people from Scandinavia, from South Africa, from China, from India. It really has a pull because of such the, the unique experience that it is. Of course, for North America, you know, it's it's pretty cold now. You, I spoke to somebody who was coming from Toronto. It was it was zero degrees. It's it's beautiful here. So it's a tremendous way to bring in your Christmas, you know, to just come down here, soak up some good, solid um, Jamaica sun, Negril vibes and, and be buoyed to finish your, your year on a high and, and strengthen you for the coming year. In terms of the, 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 the age group, I mean, we start from the very young. There are high schoolers who compete here in the 10K specifically and they have a whole sub race that's a part of this. And then you have, um, you have a, 90, a, a 92 year old contestant um, who's been running marathons <laughs> and she's a she's a tremendous spirit she's a Jamaican lady and it's just incredible to come back and see her running every year you know so it really is a it, there's so many stories for reggae marathon and so many fascinating stories and of course within the context of the grill with the whole community behind it it's a very special event well, Jason Hall, thank you so much. Such a great event coming up, the Reggae Marathon, a few hours away. Let's go check out the pasta party, the most beautiful place in the world, Jamaica, and the grill.
Well, tonight is our world's best pasta party. Again, we have earned that reputation. I'm sure, did you experience it? You've seen dishes that you'd never see at any other marathon, you know, pasta party in the world. We have the Negril chefs. A lot of them are world renowned. They're known for their dishes and so forth. And they have created dishes that are extra special. They compete against each other to present the best pasta dish. We're gonna have a wonderful experience for you on the course. Our hydration, our medical care, our timing, our punctuality. And uh, I want you to enjoy the ride. And I want you to go abroad and I want you to ride. The, the truthful and wonderful story of our reggae bar, that, you understand? And invite persons to come next year to celebrate our sweet 16. To have a marathon here, first of all, we're not talking about unique, we're talking about crazy. So let's go beyond that. So after we pass that, just trying to get Jamaica and Jamaicans as a whole and the international community to get used to the idea that Jamaica, the Sprint, Sprint Factory could host a marathon, that itself is a feat. So we have worked hard at that over 15 years to get people, I mean, I've been at New York Marathon promoting and people say, Jamaica Marathon, hey, you guys are crazy, man. And they laugh and they move along. So they don't believe that we could do it, but we are doing it and we have done it for 15 years. We have been rated by a couple publications that we are amongst the world's top 10 marathon events. So we feel pretty good about it. Hello everyone and welcome to beautiful Negril, Jamaica for the Reggae Marathon, Half Marathon and 10K. I'm Harry Chickba. Nearly 3,000 competitors coming here to the beautiful country of Jamaica. More than 30 countries represented. It is a beautiful spectacle. People having a wonderful time. Let's check out the starting line and see all the festivities. excited to be here. I came from California with all of my soul sisters. We're out here to be a part of this incredible event. The fun component. We got reggae music all along the course. Wonderful beach for you when you're finished. I mean, it's just great. beauty of Jamaica, what, what are your thoughts on this country so far? Um, it's absolutely amazing, um, and I, the, the oceans and the beaches, absolutely beautiful. Been here several times, I mean it's, they, they rally around, they, they do a great job, so appreciative of that. I'm very happy to be here, like I say, for the first time. Here with my friends, I had two girls with me from Miami, so we all here and, and I think you know, I will come back again. It's indescribable. I mean, persons who run the marathon have nothing but good things to say. It's the kind of marathon that when you're finished, you walk straight into the sea and look at the beautiful beaches of who we are and, and certainly the scenery when you run. I mean, there's no other, there's no other race that you can run either, that you can have coconut water and rum at the end of it, I'm sure. So it's the spirit of who we are. I mean, Jamaicans are very hospitable people. We're very easygoing. And the run, while competitive, also engenders that kind of spirit. So we're very, very pleased. It has grown over the years, and it's gotten bigger and better, and it, I'm sure it will keep getting and growing bigger and better.
congratulations. You're the 10K winner. What does this mean to you? Yeah, nice run. Good run. Next time, I go more harder. I'm more kicker. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, man. Give thanks. How did it feel to cross the finish line? Yeah, I feel great. I feel good. Right now, right now, my, my family, my sent me, feel good for me. Nice to me. Big up, rich man. I get a flinch about it. It's the world place, yeah. To win in Jamaica, your hometown, what does that mean to you? Yeah, one time I got my hometown, people say, yes, do it. I like how you do it. You do it good and keep it up, good works. They put it far and keep it a trouble. Yeah. Great win. You won in Jamaica. How does this feel? Pretty awesome. Feel excited. Went out there pretty confident. God's my coach said. And then I finished my race successfully. To cross the finish line and see the ribbon fall, what does that mean? Excited. Normally I'm a slow coming in. I don't have any speed, but this time I was very strong. It's a beautiful medal. Where are you gonna put this? Well, I'm at home hanging up on my over my bed. Well, the sun has begun to rise here off the coast of Negril. The 10K winners have crossed the finish line. Let's now see the half marathon champions as they go for the gold. What, what did it feel like crossing the finish line? Well, it's a very proud moment. Everyone crossed the, the finishing line at first position. How hard did you have to work to do this? I, I, went, after the, I went after the course record, but um, unfortunately, at, at the 10 mile, I started to break down because I, I was having a little back pain, so, and then my legs started to cramp, my hamstring started to cramp. How will this help you knowing you're the champion here? Well, um, it's really me greatly. Um, I, think this, I think this time is the sixth time around uh, I am the champion for the half marathon. I have won to lose this half marathon once. So to win here in Jamaica, how does it feel? Amazing, that was my A goal coming here today, so I can't complain, I'm very happy. So yeah. Cross the ribbon, I mean, what does that feel like? Probably the greatest feeling ever, as I have never won a half marathon, so this has been a goal of mine for quite some time. So to be able to do it in Negril, on my vacation in this heat is just against people from all over the world, I'll take it. I'm happy, yeah.
what a win for you. Amazing victory. How does it feel? Oh, yeah, I feel uh, great. Uh, excellent. Uh, the competition is so hot, you know. Now in Poland it's about zero degrees. Uh, thank you. Uh, and it's snowing, so for me it's so hot. Oh, <laughs> it's crazy. You had quite a celebration there. Tell us about that great moment at the finish line. <laughs> yes, because I love uh, athletic and I, uh, I'm a fan of uh, Usain Bolt and uh, well, sprints. Uh, so I must do this. <laughs> this is a huge victory for you, marathon win. What does it mean? Oh, for me it's, it's very important because uh, sport, uh, marathon running is uh, my hobby, my passion. So uh, every, every marathon, every win, is, is very important to me. It's good first um, uh, two part three and uh, one, uh, one last part is very little bit hard. What do you think about Jamaica? This race is beautiful. How did you like running? Uh, yes, it's nice to run. But uh, when sun shining is very hot, <laughs> very hard. Well, the trophies have been handed out here at the Jamaica Marathon. Also, the half marathon and 10K champions have been crowned. It's now time for the party, live music, reggae, and also a party on the beach. California. Great race. A little hot, but I finished. It was awesome. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. A little humid and a little hot, but uh, it was good. There's live music. You're meeting people from throughout the world. So tell me about this cool party. Well, it's here for all the nations to come together and see what a beautiful country Jamaica is. And uh, I'm especially happy to have uh, you guys so we can showcase our talents. Do you? 
up absolutely as love and let me be. Hey. I hey. touch you when the spot, I touch you precisely. Let you wanna love me hey. as it turns hey. me on, girl. I set you free. Oh, you're the one for me. Hey. 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 Hello, how are you? Hey. Do 